Hey guys, so today I have swatches of the Cirque Colors Kawaii collection. This is a 10 piece collection that's kind of like the introduction and launch of their rebrand. So Cirque has changed their boxes, which are super retro and I'm actually kind of digging it. And they've changed their bottles and logo as well. So the rebranding was introduced with a 10 piece collection. I will link the website down below where you guys can check these out and then we'll get into the swatches. So the first polish is called Happy Monday, and this is a lighter purple with a strong blue shimmer and some scattered silver holographic in there as well. So here is one coat. So this actually covers pretty well on the first coat for being a light color. It's definitely still a bit sheer. It will need two coats. And there are a few brush strokes through that shimmer as well that you want to be careful with. They're minor, but you don't want to be careful to straighten them out and the majority of those do go away as it dries anyway. Good formula on this one. So here is two coats. So two coats does cover completely on this one, and the majority, if not all, of those brush strokes do go away once it's fully dried. I still try to be careful just in case. This does dry a little bit dull, so you will want top coat, and there is the tiniest, tiniest bit of texture from that scattered holographic that you might want to cover up as well with top coat. So there is two coats of Happy Monday. The next polish is called Memedom, and this is a lighter blue with this pinky gold shimmer to it, and then that scattered silver holographic. So here is one coat. This one also has pretty decent coverage on the first coat, but is still a bit sheer. I can still see my nail line. And I would assume that the brush strokes will go away in this one when it dries as well, but just in case I am trying to make my strokes nice and straight. And good formula on this one as well. So here is two coats. And two coats does cover completely on this one, and those brush strokes did go away as the polish dried. This one also dries a little bit dull, and it does have that tiniest, tiniest bit of texture from that silver holographic micro glitter that's in there, tiny silver holographic micro glitter, so you will want a top coat. So there is two coats of memedom. The next polish is called Killer Kitsch, and this is a hot pink with a purpley blue shimmer and that scattered silver holographic. So here is one coat. I don't know how well you'll be able to see on camera. It does cover pretty well, but it is still a little bit sheer, so it is going to need a second coat. I can still see my nail line. It covers very evenly, though. Great formula on this one as well. So here is two coats. And this one does cover completely in two. And even though this is a similar finish to the first two that we did, I don't really see any brush strokes through the shimmer in this one, even when it's wet. It doesn't seem to dry as dull, but it does still have that tiny bit of texture from the scattered holographic. So there is two coats of Killer Kitsch. The next polish is called Vapor Wave, and this is a darker, I guess more medium blue with a reddish pink shimmer and that scattered silver holographic. So here is one coat. And this one is also a little bit sheer on the first coat. Great formula on this one, and not too many brush strokes through that shimmer even when it's wet. So here it's two coats, and two coats does cover completely on this one. This one and I believe it was the other blue one. I could swear that I could see nail line from certain angles, but then when I looked close I couldn't see it anymore. So it might have just been like an optical illusion. But when it's that close, I'm going to go ahead and call it at two. This one also does dry a little bit dull, so you will want top coat, and again that tiniest bit of texture from that scattered holographic because it is a really fine micro glitter. So there is two coats of Vapor Wave. So the next polish is called Crystal Tokyo and this is a topper. It has a couple different shifting iridescent glitters in there in what looks like a pink jelly base. I'm going to put it over white and you'll see that there really isn't too much tint to that base at all but you do get a lot of that iridescent glitter in there. So here is one coat. It seems like in addition to that iridescent glitter there is a lot of pink, purple, blue, um, orange, yellow, just a bunch of different shades in here. I initially was just putting this over white to show the color of the base, but I actually ended up really liking it over white. Now because this has a lot of iridescent glitter in it, it's a little bit 
thicker. It's almost like, I don't want to say like a hair gel consistency because it's definitely not that thick, but it's like going in that direction. It's still pretty easy to spread out and apply. I don't think it's too thick at all, and I've noticed that I kind of always see that consistency in polishes that have a lot of that iridescent glitter in there. So that is one coat of Crystal Tokyo over white. So the next polish is called Star Child, and this is a very metallic looking, almost greenish blue base with a ton of iridescent glitter in there. So here is one coat. And so this one is pretty sheer on that first coat. It is most likely going to need three total, but definitely at least one more. The iridescent glitter in here is a little bit more difficult to manipulate onto the nail. I feel like a lot of the polish wants to move with the glitter, so you end up getting, like in the end of my nail here, you end up getting a lot of the blue base concentrated in one area while trying to move the glitter around. It's a little bit finicky. Consistency wise though, the formula feels good. It might be a little bit on the thick side, but not terrible. So here is two coats. So for my pointer finger, that looks completely opaque in two coats. I'm curious to see if my middle finger will do the same because it was a little bit thinner of a layer on there. And if you can see, it is, I don't know, it just, it's applying weird. So I'm gonna call this one good for me on two. Depending on your application, you might want a third coat. On my middle finger, it's like, it looks completely opaque from one angle and then from the other angle, I can almost see bald spots, but then they go away again and I don't really know what's happening with it. I do know it's gonna dry a little bit textured, so you will want top coat. It's just weird because it didn't seem too incredibly thick when I was applying it, but then I would get clumps of the glitter in there that would make like a little bit thicker, beads of polish if that makes any sense at all. So by the second coat it was actually starting to layer up kind of thick. So that is two coats of Star Child. The next polish is called Lolly Lips and this is a hot pink with a ton of silver holographic micro flakes and maybe a little bit of pink shimmer in there. I can't tell if it's just a reflection from the flakes or if it's actually in there. So here is one coat. This covers really well on the first coat. I think if you're not super picky, you could probably get away with this in one if you wanted to. I'm gonna add a second because I can still see my nail line, it's just not very obvious. And great formula on this one as well. So here is two coats. And this one does cover completely in two, but like I said, if you're not super picky, you could probably walk out the door with one on this one. But that second coat is going to deepen the color a bit. This also dries a little bit dull, so you will want top coat, but because those silver holographic are tiny flakies, they're not gonna stick up or be textured and they're not gonna be difficult to remove either. So there is two coats of Lolly Lips. The next polish is called QT Kitty, and this is a really dark purple with that scattered silver holographic, and there is a little bit of purpley shimmer in here. I wasn't sure about the pink one. When I got it on the nail, I could really see it, and this is gonna be the same way. So here is one coat, and this one also covers really well on the first coat, a little bit uneven, so I'm gonna do a second. The shimmer that's in here with this one and the last one, it's not so much like the first few that had a contrasting shimmer. It's not really meant to stand out against the color of the polish as much as it is just kind of make the polish glow a little bit more. And great formula on this one as well. So here is two coats. And two coats does cover completely on this one. This does dry a little bit dull as well, so you will want top coat, but those flakies are gonna dry smooth and they will be easy to remove. So there is two coats of QT Kitty. The next polish is called 24 Karat Affair, and this is a super sparkly gold foil metallic with holographic in there as well. So here is one coat. And this one is a little bit sheer on that first coat. Great formula on this one. These little particles that make up the foil metallic, they won't stick to the nail and they will dry smooth, but they're gonna get all over your skin when you try to remove it. So here is two coats. And Two Coats does cover completely on this one. And this will dry smooth, not gritty or textured at all. So there is Two Coats of 24 Karat Affair.
And the last polish is called Shiny, and this is the silver version of 24 Karat Affair. It is a silver foil metallic with holographic in there as well. So here is one coat. So this covers really well on the first coat. It is just a little bit sheer, so I'm going to do a second. And with this silver, it's not a super light, bright silver. It's still very sparkly, but it's more of a darker, I guess, I wouldn't say as dark as a gunmetal, but somewhere in between the two. And good formula on this one as well. So here is two coats. This one does cover completely in two. But I think that if you're not picky, you could probably get away with one. There wasn't a ton of nail lines showing on the first coat. And like the last one, this will not be difficult to remove from the nail, but it will stick to the skin. So there's two coats of shiny. So somehow I lost my outro to this one. Thankfully I didn't lose the entire intro and outro, just the outro, no big deal. So my favorite out of this collection is gonna be Crystal Tokyo, and this was actually a big surprise for me because I wasn't really expecting to like this at all, to be completely honest with you. I just wanted to put it over white so I could show how much the base color is tinted, so you could see it, you know, the best over white. I ended up putting it over that white. I loved it, like, love this over white. It looks so good, it's so... It's very dainty and kind of ethereal with all the iridescent glitter that's in there. It's just really pretty. It's a really nice glitter topper, and I didn't expect myself liking a glitter topper at all, let alone this one, and ended up being my favorite. So that is the Kawaii collection from Cirque Colors. Again, those are available right now, so I will link the website down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will talk to you later. Bye.